Hello! Today I will be sharing with you some tests that I've done of a couple of different kinds of neon, uh, fluorescent, black light reactive, UV reactive, whatever you want to call them, uh, acrylic paints. And the two varieties that we have, I got two sets. This one is called Neon Nights. I got this from Amazon. This was a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for about maybe like ten dollars twelve dollars then these ones are called are the deco art americana neons and i got these at walmart but you can buy them online too they're both these are pretty cheap too i think they were maybe like two dollars for each of these and it's two fluid ounces so first i want to show you how they look in daytime and then later i'll come back and show you how they look under uv so the first thing so here is one little test strip that I did. This is on a black envelope and the top row is the little ones and the bottom row is the deco arts. So the main thing that I noticed from these is that this, so this is only one coat. It really doesn't cover very well. Um, and what this means is that I was trying to match them like orange orange green green yellow ye yellow yellow green green but here this one should go here i messed it up here there i have no um pink of the deco art anyway so here uh it doesn't look great so it's like it's just not very good coverage on either one and especially these ones these are actually quite thin and watery more so than these and i would say neither of these are you know like professional grade or anything like that but they are what I have for now. And the other thing is, please consider the kind of material that you're going to be painting on. So this black envelope is actually kind of uh, smooth. And I noticed that, because uh, I painted on uh, some of these before, I got them from like a secondhand shop. And it didn't take the paint super well, so I got another kind of black paper. And as you can see, this has this black paper. I did the same setup where I have the small ones, the neon knights on the top, and the deco art on the bottom. And I think they're it's like noticeably better, right? The the coverage is noticeably better. I didn't do anything particularly different, but. The coverage is definitely noticeably better with just one coat and both of these take quite some time to dry so it's like if you're applying multiple colors or you got to do multiple coats it's kind of a pain so yeah it just depends on the kind of paper you're working with here they are on black paper i also did one on white paper so you can compare here we also have the um the neon knights on the top and the deco arts on the bottom and I will show you these at night as well. So there you have a little bit, the swatches here. One other thing that you should really note is that depending on what kind of black light or UV light you have, not all of them are actually gonna really show up at night. So the ones that I had problems with with some black lights were the Neon Night Blue, the Neon Night Purple, and the Neon Night White. These were the ones that I really did not see hardly at all under some kind of black lights and if you look at the reviews on Amazon they reflect that some people are like oh you can't see it and I thought the same thing I felt really ripped off but then it turned out I just had a different kind of UV light so then I want to show you just some examples of like in pub in the in the wild so this is on that same white envelope these are using the some jellyfishes using the um these use the neon nights and so you could see it's not this is one one coat it's not very good coverage so a lot of these colors they will kind of overwhelm me in the daytime but kind of interestingly at night um under the black light even a little bit of this stuff goes a really long way and it looks really nice um, so it's just kind of interesting like that if you want to, you know, save materials or whatever, you really don't need a lot. But if you're painting directly under the black light, you might look in the morning and be like, wait a minute, this looks like basically nothing, especially when you're using the, the lighter colors like the yellows. And so it's, it's just interesting, um, you know, depending on whether you paint under the black light or whether you paint in the daytime and then look at the black light. 
So that's on white paper, and here's some jellyfish that I made for recent art things. So these are all painted under black light, and so this white under black light is this white, um, Neon Nights, and it looked great under black light, but as you can see, there's basically like no coverage. Like, yeah. Here is your green. Let's see what we have on the back here. This one's interesting. I did like a bunch of different layers because I didn't like how it looked. What do we have here? This one's all red. And then I'll show these again under the black light. This one also got kind of messed up, so I went over it again with blue. And the other thing is this one I know because I've seen it under black light. There are also like kind of mistakes that I made up here. So this is like some blue, this is some blue, this is some blue. And while you can, and there's even a little bit here, while you can barely see it under normal light, under black light, because these paints show up really well under black light, like you can really find the mistakes. So yeah, there's just different things to look at. And like here, yeah, there should be white. There is white here, but you can't really see it. Okay, so I'll be back later at night and I'll show you how everything looks under black light. All right, everyone, welcome back. We are in the nighttime portion of the program, the black light portion of the program. That sound that you hear all around, those are cokey frogs. They are not night birds, they are cokey frogs. All right, so let's take a look at our colors. They look beautiful in their little jars. First, let's compare the two black sets. Just as a reminder, the ones on the top are the Neon Knights in both sets, and the ones on the bottom are the Deco Arts acrylics. They don't look the same on camera, I'll be honest. They look brighter in person, and the colors look more like themselves. But, like, the green and the yellow look very similar on both of these. Green and yellow looks very, very similar. The orange for the Neon Knights is much, like, lighter, I don't know how to explain it, much yellower than the orange for um, the Deco Arts. The pink and the red for both of these are very, very similar. And the blues look very similar, actually, and they look very similar to the white. So bl the two blues and the white look very similar, even though in daytime they look quite different. And the, the purple with the neon night purple is much paler than the deco art purple. So that's the situation there. Now let's take a look at the white. These are very bright. They look beautiful on white. Ooh. But again, the yellows, the yellow and the green look very similar, and the reds look, the yellow and the greens look very similar to each other, I mean. The reds for both the Neon Knights and the Deco Arts look the same. The pink looks very similar to the red. There's a pretty big difference in terms of paleness between the purples. This one, you can really see the difference in the oranges, and the blue and the white look very similar. Now let me show you on the jellyfish arts. So these are the ones on white. Ooh, jellyfish. So they look quite similar on the camera, but and I'm telling you in person just because I'm looking at the camera versus in person. This one looks pink, and these look much more bright blue. They, but they on the camera they all look kind of white, but that's not how they are. If anyone has good tips on shooting under blacklight to where you can get the colors better, do let me know. I would love to know. It's really interesting because cameras are not made to function under UV lights. They don't capture colors quite the same way. So that's on the white. Those are the jellyfish on the white. Now let's take a look at the black. 
these all look brighter. This one came out very pretty. But this one, look again, it looks redder in person. It looks much more red. This one, again, it looks all blue in on the camera, but in person it has like streaks of orange and like yellow green. What else to get? This one is blue. But so this one, I don't know if you remember in the daytime, the hat was white and the bottom was blue, but they look exactly, they look like they're all blue or all white. It's all the same color in the black light. Green. I think one of these is green and one is yellow, but they look the same. These actually look better on the camera. All the way up here. This one looks very nice on the camera too. Bright. All right, so there you have it. That's the comparison of the acrylics. Um, I would say probably I overall I prefer the um, the deco arts because they are a little bit thicker. They provide a little bit better coverage, but if you're already planning to do multiple multiple layers or if you don't mind that it's watery because you know even though so this one as you can see it shows a lot of the black is coming through but it also makes a cool effect so maybe that's not a big deal for you um the only thing i would say is that the yellows and the greens do look pretty much the same there's not a whole lot of difference between the yellows and the greens so you know if you want to save uh some money you can just get either yellow or green. I would probably get the yellow. It's probably a little bit brighter than the green, but yeah, that's about it. And also, sorry, last thing you can see, there is a bit of difference between the two, um, the two black papers. The upper one is the one that like has a little bit more texture where the ink, the, the paint can kind of like go into it more. And this one is much smoother. And so you see, especially it's noticeable with the neon nights where there's just not a lot of coverage. I'd really have to go over it with multiple coats if I really wanted to get a, like a full coverage effect. So anyway, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed these reviews. Hopefully it's helpful for you. Good luck on your own fluorescent adventures. Goodbye!